This is the Hiroya Jimmy, and it's not your average smart scale because it has a detachable display. Now, is this a useful feature or is it just a gimmick? Hey there, it's Chris and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Jimmy Smart Scale from Heroya. As a disclaimer, this was sent to me for free under no obligations to review it and I am not being paid or compensated in any way by Heroya for this review. As always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. Okay, so first let's talk a little bit about the build quality of the scale. The box and packaging is really quite nice. It comes with a cable to charge, the scale itself, and a little plate to attach elsewhere for the display. It came with a quick start guide that doesn't really help too much and I had to refer to an online guide to get a little bit more information. The entire scale weighs about 446 grams with the detachable portion weighing about 63 grams. The scale itself is just a little bit bigger than an Akaya Lunar at about 12 by 12 centimeters. The build quality is actually quite good. It's made of aluminum and high quality plastic parts. The aluminum used doesn't feel quite as premium as something like the Akaya Lunar, but still feels pretty good. Here's a little comparison in terms of the sound differences between the metals used. The magnetic snap is pretty satisfying and holds nicely, but you do have to be careful with it, and more on that later. You can see here that the connection between the display and the scale is made using these three little pins, similar to how an ember mug is connected to its base. There's relatively minimal branding to the scale itself with just a little logo in the corner of the scale, and overall it does have a pretty solid build quality, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on the premiumness factor if the Akaya is considered a 10. However, I am dropping it a point because it's 2022 and we should be using USB-C, not micro USB, small nitpick, and even the newest version of the Akaya Lunar does come with USB-C for those wondering. Now the scale itself is fairly quick, and there isn't an issue with the latency either. It's fast enough where I don't think it's going to be an issue. There is one other thing that I've found quite annoying with the Jimmy, and that is the startup time. Sometimes it's nearly instantaneous, occasionally it does go into this stuck mode where the Heroya logo shows up for a long time and seemingly needs a restart to get it to work. It happens a lot more often than I'd like, and it's just been a pretty frustrating aspect to deal with. I think I've been able to narrow down the solution to the display having to be aligned perfectly with the scale itself via the magnets before fully turning the scale on. So the scale does advertise some smart features, which if you've seen my reviews of both the Akaya Pearl and Lunar in the past, you know I'm not particularly fond of or nor care about. Honestly, as long as the scale has a built-in timer, I'm okay with it. And then there's also app connectivity. The app design here is interesting. It's definitely on the simple side and could probably use a little bit of a modern refresh. In the middle, you have the devices tab where you can pair the scale, but also for whatever reason, call the scale sort of like an AirTag. Weird. This is also where you would update the scale if there were any new firmware updates. The app has four modes, Espresso, Pour Over, Training, and Scale Data Display. Honestly, I don't care too much for most of these modes, although they are interesting. You can select different types of modes for both Espresso and Pour Over, and even document recipes that you try out. You can design recipes in the Pour Over mode, which is kind of cool and similar to the recipe feature on the Akaya Pearl. The training mode is super interesting, and while I definitely will not be utilizing it, I do think it's a pretty fun integration nonetheless. You can literally train yourself to pour certain recipes and follow the flow rates while getting feedback from both the scale and your phone. And finally, you have the scale data display mode marked by a letter J for some odd reason, where you can monitor the scale's information on your phone instead. You can trigger the tear and start stop timers functions as well. Now to give the scale a little bit of credit, my thoughts on smart scales have changed since my initial reviews of both the Akaya Pearl S and the Akaya Lunar, where I actually liked some of the features. And finally, brew guide mode. If you are going to pick up an Akaya Pearl S, this should be the reason. Flash forward much later, now I only want a fast and accurate scale with a timer. I don't really care for any of the smart integrations anymore. These app integrations are pretty unique and could be fun to play around with, but I don't see myself using them on the day to day. So finally, using this scale. For Espresso, I don't care too much for the detachable display. Sure, it might be a nice touch to not bend your neck down and look downwards at your scale, but it's really not a big deal for me. It's kind of the same thing as those people who get a little mirror to look at their bottomless port filter rather than just bend down a little. For pour over, it's the same deal. I'm looking down anyway as I'm pouring, so again, no benefit. But lever machines, that is where the scale absolutely shines. This is the perfect scale for something like the Flare 58. It can be hard to simultaneously look underneath when you're trying to pull a shot and see your scale. But this scale allows me to place the display directly in front of me and monitor the numbers while pulling the shot in a comfortable way with this lever machine. 
I think most lever machine owners could also benefit from a scale like this, particularly if you're always at a little bit of an awkward angle to pull your shots. If you're in the market for a premium scale like the Lunar, then this might be another one worth considering. I especially think it's going to be great for lever machines, but might also serve a purpose for someone who might need some accessibility like solutions. But for a typical user and on the day to day, whether for pour over or espresso, I do still think the Lunar is going to outperform the Jimmy, especially for the same money. So those are my thoughts on the Heroya Jimmy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.